Hey guys, it's Erica, and today we're going to be talking about seven houseplants that purify your air. Plants in general are really good for the environment. They take in all our CO2 emissions and they turn it into oxygen, which we need to breathe. <laughs> But these specific houseplants also purify the air. So in this video, I'm going to be going through some of the houseplants that are air purifying, ending with the most beneficial. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. All right, so starting off with the biggest plant that I have in this room, which is this one. This is a... Ficus benjamina. This one is a variegated version, but it is also commonly known as the weeping fig. This is a plant that can be placed in direct sunlight. I have some outside of my house. They're very big. They're very gorgeous plants and they do like higher light environments. So if you have only a low light space available, maybe this one isn't going to be your first choice. The next plant I'm going to talk about is a plant that has many health benefits. It is an aloe vera plant. So this plant can be used medicinally. Topically, it's good for sunburns. You might know that if you ever have gotten sunburns in the summer. And um, it's also really pretty. This one I unearthed from the ground at my friend's house and I put it in this pot and I have it in a very highlight situation. Um, they do look like a lot of light as just like the ficus does. So again, if you have only a low light environment for your plant, maybe this one isn't the prime choice for you. But it's a great plant, many uses, and really pretty. So the next two plants on this list might be better for you because they are both pet friendly. They are non-toxic to animals. Um, one of them is a Boston fern and these plants can get really huge. They are so, so beautiful. They are ferns so they kind of like to be moist. This one I have in a bright area. They like dappled sunlight and kind of a humid environment. Safe for pets. <laughs> That's always a plus. The other plant that is safe for animals is a spider plant. These plants are super easy to care for. Pretty much just water them when their color starts fading. Um, they have tuberous roots so they don't need to be watered too often. And bonus, they put out babies when they are pot bound so you don't need to be in a rush to repot them. The next plant I have is a Dracaena marginata. A lot of Dracaenas are really good for air purifying, which I would have never expected because their leaves are kind of really thin and narrow, kind of like this uh, spider plant, but these are really good air purifying plants. These are one of the better ones for air purifying, which is why it is number three on my list. They're really gorgeous. They can, they like brighter light also but they don't need to be watered as often. They could also withstand direct light if that's what you want for this plant. So you can keep it, <laughs> so you can keep it in a pretty bright window and it will do well there. Another plant that is super easy to care for, super good for air purifying is a classic snake plant. Um, these plants are literally one of the easiest plants to care for of all time. Um, they can withstand low light, they can withstand even direct sunlight if you slowly transition them there. Um, they're just overall great plants. They don't need to be watered too often. If you forget to water it a couple of times, it'll just bounce right back. Like, for example, this uh, snake plant that I have right here, the reason why it looks a little floppy right here is because it was just um, laying uprooted as if someone like pulled it out of the ground because they didn't want it anymore so I took it home with me and I potted it up because I wanted to see how hardy this plant could actually be and as you can see it came back to life it's been putting out new growth if you're interested I'll put the video up in the cards um, but it's doing exceptionally well for the condition it was in when I found it so snake plants super easy to care for 
super good for air purifying. It's a great plant to have if you don't have that much light to give. I have one back there in a room with only a north facing window and it is several feet away from the north facing window and it's been doing fine. Plant number two, snake plant. The number one plant that is air purifying is a peace lily. The peace lily is the number one top plant for air purifying that you will find other than a chrysanthemum or something like that. And this one can also withstand low light conditions. So if you're looking for an air purifying plant and you don't have that bright of a room, this one is going to be your go-to. The only thing is that this one does like to be watered, but it will droop heavily. It will heavily droop to let you know that it wants to be watered. And then it will bounce right back up. So it's okay. So maybe if you have a heavier hand of watering, just wait until you see it droop and then you can go ahead and water this baby. And there it is, plant number one. Best plant for air purifying. I keep this one next to my snake plant I have in here in the room with the north facing window. And as you can see, it's not doing exceptionally well, but it's doing pretty well for the amount of light that it has. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informational for you. Let me know if you have any of these plants and if you've ever bought a plant specifically because it is air purifying. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!